Yes, you, randomly you. You've heard about bullying, maybe learned or read about it. But you never thought it's going to be you. It all started in one sunny day. It was a completely normal one. Until this one person chooses to pick on you. What I say to you. Right. That's what you're doing. You're right. School for a waste of time. <laughs> yes. What shall we do? Let's go to the park. We can still catch some of the gang. Oh, you think? Hi, Demi. Why don't you join us? Hold on. Holly, I thought you didn't like Damien. I don't. Just watch. Come on, Damien. Don't start with your games now. Just let's move. Who's the best here? You. So hush. Cool trainers. Really cool. No problem. I like them. Where did you buy them? I didn't. My mom did. Ah, her mom did. Shara is an expert on trainers. Mommy buckle trainers. Mommy buckle trainers. I like them. Aw, she likes them. Mommy Baku trainers, Mommy Baku trainers. Come on, Yola, join in. Mommy Baku trainers, Mommy Baku trainers. Stop it. Oh, stop it, everyone. We don't want to make sweet little princess Demi cry. I am not a sweet little princess. You know what? Your trainers look to you, but I can help you. They look better now, don't they? Come on, everyone. Let little princess gave me to her mommy. Don't worry, Demi. We're only kidding. We don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll jump over. Just give me two more days to manage. Yes, I see, alright, $200, three checks, right? Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Oh, hi, baby. I didn't notice you enter. That's the municipal check, aren't you, the game? Yes, but don't worry, everything is settled. So, how was school today? Um, alright. What's happened to your new trainers? They look fun. Um, I was playing football. With your friends from school? Mm, yeah, yeah, with my friends from school. There must be something wrong. Demi's hate football. Besides, she never acted so weird. So how was it? Oh, please don't ask me about your serious party. It's the worst party I have done in my life. Well, that's a shame. Have you done your essay, Holly? Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? We have to hand it to you today. Yeah, I know. No problem. Then we come here. What did, is it? Did you write your homework essay on your PC? Yeah, I always do. What do you ask? Give me your essay. I can do that. Give me your essay, or your new trainers will disappear. Here you are. So, what did I tell you? Here's my homework. But what about them? That's none of your business, puppy face.
about your essay. Sorry, ma'am, I... Well, she says she lifted up the bus. Is that right, Demi? Yes, ma'am. I left it on the bus. Nice try. Luckily, you have plenty of time to write a new one. And detention. That was me. Do you think so, Chad? Okay, maybe next time I'll take you with So, what do you know about metaphors? Jesse? It's like things that represent an idea of something else. Yes, but I still don't quite understand what you're saying. Um, can anybody give me an example? She thinks she's the queen of the class. Brilliant. More examples for metaphors? Okay, okay. I'll get back to you. Hey. Hi. You know, I need to pass a history class. I better got a plus on it. I hope so. Okay, but remember, not a word to anyone. You don't want me to get angry, right? I won't say anything, promise. Hey, what's going on? I'm having a little chat with my friend Sammy. Isn't that right, Demi? Yes, that's right. Come on, Holly, we are late for the thing. What are you talking about? Come on, Danny. Tell me. I saw your face and I know Holly. She just wanted to borrow something. Borrow something? Yes, borrow something. What's wrong with that? I am sorry, but I am... But I'm late. Well, Danny, you can't just run away. Please, stop, stop pretending that everything is fine. You should tell someone about what's going on between you and Holly. I'm sure they can help. Trust me. Thanks, but really, I am doing great. You are? Holly and I are getting along. I can't see what the problem with it. Hi, Demi. Hi, Mom. Oh my God, what's happened to you? Your clothes are wet and you look so bad. No, Mom. We were just falling around. Who we? Um, you know, the gang. I mean, my friend from class. I don't understand. So you hang with the gang and play football and act so weird. Tell me, dear. Are there any problems at school? No, Mom. Everything is fine. Tell me, dear. I know something's wrong. Leave me alone, Mom. I am fine. Outside now please come on, Mrs. Benson. I was expecting you. Thank you for speaking with me. Have a seat, please. What can I do for you? I'm just a little bit worried about Dame's behavior recently. Is there anything you've noticed? Nothing serious. Just the usual jokes and a girl should be able to take a joke. I agree, but yesterday she came with her clothes wet. Mm. And what did she say about it? She said she was playing quarter splash with the girls. But you don't believe her, right? No, I don't. Mm. I understand what you are saying. I'll keep an eye on it. Thank you, Mrs. Lanz. Goodbye, Mrs. Lanz. the handouts. Please copy the questions on the board and answer them. I'll be right back. Who cares about this nonsense? No, except if you're a sweet little princess. 
This keyboard is rubbish. Don't you think so, Princess? Don't break it! Stop it, Holly. Mrs. Robinson will be furious with you. Demi, why did you break the keyboard? I didn't, you did. Holly, don't be silly, you did it. I didn't, and if anyone has a problem with that, you better say so now. Jesse, Camelia, Jack, no, good. What was that noise? Who broke the keyboard? Demi, answer me, who broke this keyboard? I did. Demi, you broke it? That's not true. Okay, Jack, who broke it then? I did. I did. No, I did. No, I did. I did. Okay, all of you wait for me at the headmaster's office. What about you, Holly? You nothing to do with me, ma'am. I hope so. We'll soon find out the truth. What do you mean, ma'am? Well, this computer has a webcam. I switched it on before the lesson. Let's see what it recorded. Ma'am? What is that, Holly? Is there something you want to tell me? Be yourself, because the people who mind don't matter, and the people that matter don't mind. Pulling someone down will never help you reach the top.